let's go for a ride. So as we are approaching Ivan's, you can always tell that you're approaching Ivan's because the red mountain keeps getting bigger and bigger and you've just got the beautiful red landscaping all around with the red rocks and I love the, I don't know what kind of trees these are, but I love these little desert trees. Um, yeah, just so beautiful. Oh, yeah, and you can see as we're approaching the little roundabout, that's how you always know you're in Ivan's. Oh, here we are. You can see the sign for Ivan's. Woohoo, we're here. We're in Ivan. And you'll see some construction going on to our left here, and this is the Black Desert Resort. Yes, the Black Desert Resort is the construction that's going on to our left. One thing I get used to here, the roundabouts. Yes, you do have to get used to the roundabouts. Yes, if you're from a part of the country that doesn't have roundabouts, get ready to be dealing with roundabouts. <laughs> so we're actually going to go to the Tuacon Center for the Arts because that's in Ivan's as well and it's just a great way to show um, just the spectacular scenery that's around here. Um, it's got lots of cool plays and stuff that go on there, more like musicals actually. Sometimes they'll even have like TED Talks. They have lots of events there, like Halloween they'll have events. Around the holidays they'll have different events. So yeah, it's a fun little community center. Oh, they also have on Saturdays they have a farmer's market, they have little markets. There's lots of stuff that's always going on out there. People from all over St. George like to go to, uh, to a con for various different reasons. And in Ivan's what you'll see is that there's a lot of variation here. You have a lot of, like, you have gated communities, you, you know, obviously don't have gated communities. You have like new construction, you have existing construction. It's all across the board. I mean, there's a lot of it. And there's not, there's not a ton of townhomes or condos. It's mostly single family residences. And depending on what you're looking for, that's where you would reach out to us because we can help you navigate this whole situation because we obviously, the last thing you want is to get into the wrong area and make that mistake, right? So that's what we're here for, is to help guide you and help find that perfect home. And before we continue, let's introduce ourselves. I'm Courtney Dezod, this is my husband, Sean Dezod. We're licensed real estate agents here in the state of Utah. Reach out to that number below if you're thinking about buying a home, whether that's an investment home or your forever home here in the state of Utah. We'll get you in touch with somebody on our team and we'll help you find that perfect property for you. So one thing I will say about Ivan's is that there isn't much like infrastructure in terms of shopping and stuff in the actual city of Ivan's. Of course, you're right next to Santa Clara, which has plenty of that. But if you want a grocery store in your city, I don't know if... <laughs> yeah, you're not going to find much there. Yeah, at least not to date. Um, obviously, again, you're very close to Santa Clara. And even, you know, city center of St. George is really close to here, 15, 20 minutes from where we are right now. But yeah, in terms of just like the actual grocery stores and stuff, they're all going to be in Santa Clara or St. George. Yeah, and what I love about Tuacon, you're going to see it, this is like a natural amphitheater. It is just such a striking, incredible setting. You know, again, it's incredible to see. Yeah, and it's been a, probably a few months since we've been out here, probably since before the rainy season started and it does look a lot greener <laughs> so, i mean i don't know if you've uh, heard the news but there's been a lot of rain and even snow here in st george it's been a very wet season which isn't good for filming but it is great for the region so <laughs> it's a minor trade-off it's a minor yeah minor trade-off but i'm just loving seeing all of the plants just flourishing so much because of all the recent rain and snow and just look at this striking canyon that we're driving into right now i mean it's just pretty incredible as we're driving towards tuacon yeah these two ridges come to a like they, they start they meet and that's kind of where the tuacon amphitheater is yeah so, so here we are we're now on the premises of the tuacon amphitheater and let's see what it looks like as we get closer and closer there we go I don't know if there's anything going on anytime soon because it's been so cold. Um, oh, and wet. And wet. Yeah, it tends to be more of like a summer thing. Although they do have events like all year round. I know they had stuff for Christmas. Yeah, and uh, in summer it gets dark pretty late. Yeah. And so a lot of times obviously they're having these performances later in the evening because obviously you want it to be dark. So so yeah, just be aware that these, are, these events tend to start pretty late. Yeah, well, and it's so hot too that everyone wants it to start when the sun goes down and that's like <laughs> nine o'clock, so. Exactly. <laughs> and we had to stop because our kids have to go to the bathroom because of course, if you're in the car for 30 minutes, you gotta go to the bathroom. But anyways, so we actually stopped at the Tuacon Theater and it sounds like they're practicing some music right now. So it sounds really nice. 
Okay, so now we're leaving Tuacon and we're heading back to civilization, I guess. Although the path is pretty beaten, actually. It's yeah. paved. It's really nice. And you can see a nice little bike lane right next to us, too. Yeah, all over the place you'll find bike lanes that, you know, this is St. George. This whole St. George region is just known for outdoor activities, right? So, like we have, same paths are great for running. Obviously, off the beaten path, you got mountain biking, you got hiking, tons of activities here. And that's beyond like all the golf courses that we got here. You know, we have tennis courts, pickleball courts, just tons of outdoor activities. So this is one of the few <laughs> strip malls. Yeah, commercial centers. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty grand. I mean, you know, there's uh, there, for shopping, there's New York City, and then there's Ivan's. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So if you're if you're one in shopping. Like, especially like like the normal day-to-day, -day, like particularly like grocery store stuff or whatever. Santa Clara's right next door, and that's where you're gonna find Lynn's, Harmon's is super close by, and Albertson's. Like, Lynn's and Harmon's are both kind of whole food-esque as far as that goes. Lots of organic foods and that kind of thing. So that's probably where you're gonna scratch that itch if that's what you're looking for. Yeah, because what does the saying say, saying go? You pay the farmer now, or you pay the doctor later. I prefer later. Me too. Okay, so now we're just passing by. We just wanted to show you the um, medical school, the Rocky Vista University. There just happens to be a medical school up in here in Ivins. Uh, you wouldn't know it, but just a little point of interest. And then we'll go through just like a random, um, you know, neighborhood just to show you some random neighborhood in um, Ivins. And then we all we also will go by Entrada, which is a very popular neighborhood. It's not just in Ivins though, it's also in Santa Clara and St. George. It's popular because of its golf course, which they just renovated. Supposed to be absolutely phenomenal and spectacular. And, and now I know the waiting list to get there is just absolutely crazy. So um, yeah. Yeah, because Entrada went through, I think a multi-million dollar renovation for their golf course. And also Entrada, what, what's known about it is that it's, you know, it's one of the ritzy communities in all of the St. George region, super high in demand. People really love it. And uh, what it also has to offer is that it's, it's gated. I mean, it's, you know, newer construction gated with a golf course that that's you know, the whole ensemble. So here we are, we're on Center Street. This is one of the main arteries of Ivan's as we head towards Cayenta. Yeah, I would say there's two main communities that, you know, Ivan's is kind of known for. It's Entrada, which was, again, that golf course community, gated and newer and that whole thing. And then there's also Cayenta, which is kind of the opposite in a lot of ways of Entrada because they don't have a golf course, spectacular views, very treading lightly. Like they very, you know, they very much take into account that, like, the whole natural scenery. They're, they develop, you know, they have super strict HOA rules to really hammer home this whole treading lightly concept. And also as these, because all these, all these communities have different features, amenities, and definitely rules and regulations, like it can be pretty daunting, right? Because some places, again, depending on what you're looking for, may be great, maybe not. And that's why we want to reach out to us so we can help you navigate these tricky situations. Yeah, because Sean, his best friend's father, actually did have a place in Cayenta, but then he sold it because for him, he thought the rules and regulations were too strict. But other people, they really like it because it keeps the community so that it's like how Sean was saying, it's tread very lightly. Everything, you wouldn't even know there's as many homes as there is there, but there's a lot of rules and regulations. So reach out, call that number on the screen right now, and we can help you figure out whether Cayenta is right for you or whether it's some totally different community and totally different part of St. George. Yeah, and Trotta's, like, again, within Ivan's, we're pretty partial to thinking that, you know, Cayenta is amazing and Trotta's amazing, but very different types of communities. And it's interesting, as we enter uh, towards Cayenta, and the Red Mountain is beyond us. The last time we were here, it was really uh, hazy and foggy, and that's how it is right now, too, because if, if you have been watching this channel, you might have seen that there's been a lot of rain this season, which is great, a lot of rain and snow, but rainy right now, you can barely see the mountains because they're all covered in um, fog, basically. And we joke about, like, our ongoing joke in St. George, like, is that everything's 15 minutes away from, like, let's say, city center. Now, for Ivan's, it just extends a little past that where it's closer to maybe like more like 20 minutes. And then as you get to Cayenta, which is the edge of Ivan's, 
you're getting about 25, 30 minutes out. So it's just one of those things to be aware of. For the people that live here, obviously that is not a big problem. They kind of want to be like, it's one of those things where you feel like you're in the middle of nowhere, but again, civilization is very, <laughs> it's just around the corner. So here we are, this is Kayenta, as you can see, and the Kayenta Arts Village. This is, again, this, this community is super cute. I mean, this is kind of amazing. And the views here are fantastic. And you wouldn't actually know it. Okay, so as we're here in Kayenta, not gated, right? So you don't have, it's not gated. Has some amenities, that's not gonna be the major draw here. It does have a pool, has tennis courts and stuff like that. Some amenities, but really what the draw here is, is just this whole natural flow, this landscape. One, I, I, I'm not sure how well you could see it because it is a little bit hazy and, and, and drizzly today, but this view that we're like kind of driving towards is absolutely incredible. And some of these homes, you walk in, they have the open floor plan, and you just get this panoramic view in your living room and probably you know the bedroom and the primary bedroom and things of this red rock, the red mountain, and it's just incredible, honestly. I come from a place where, like, I love me some ocean views, but this, it's debatable whether I would take this over an ocean view because these, these views are just that incredible. And a lot of these homes are single story. So they're, again, you wouldn't know that there's a, like, there's a decent amount of, like, this is a good sized development. And there's a decent amount of homes here, but because they're single story and they kind of blend in, you don't even actually realize how many homes there are here. And on top of that, they kind of blend in with the landscape, like the coloring is very, very much like what the landscape is. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I believe that it's about, you can only develop on 30% of the land. So, and that includes not just the house, but like any of the roads, driveways, that kind of thing. So you're, you know, these, these lot sizes are like half acre, acre size lots, possibly a little bit more. But again, you wouldn't know how, how it is. And also even uh, like the light pollution. They're, they're very conscious of not, you know, so you're not just parking on the street. So just be aware. The rule with a kind of a heavy hand here, right? So they don't want you developing too much. They don't want you parking where it's becoming an eyesore. It's really about blending in. Yeah, so if you are like me and you like to blend into the crowd, you don't like to talk to people that you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like using that skill of blending into the crowd. You're using that skill here in Cayenta. Yeah, and if it was sunny, this thing is just absolutely dazzling. And also, like in Cayenta itself, what you have is it's a large development. They are there are properties that are built in the 1990s all the way to today. And as you can see, there's new construction happening right as we speak. So this is kind of just an ongoing development happening. Yeah, it's funny, whenever um, you know someone comes in from out of town to visit us, invariably we always take them here to Cayenta just to show <laughs> just how spectacular the landscape is, as well as Cayenta over at the Arts Village, which we'll drive around in just a little bit. But at the Arts Village, they actually have a cafe, and obviously they have lots of very cute galleries. I really like the art in there, some great artists, painters, photographers, great photography of Zion. Um, yeah, it's just such a fun uh, little community. Yeah, and these are single family homes. They do range in size. There are some two story properties, but primarily it's all single, you know, primarily it's single story residences. And it's kind of like, you know, okay, if you're thinking about the beach, right? The closer you get to the Red Rock, or the, Ren, the Ren Mountain, the more premium that lot is. So it's all about proximity to that Red Mountain because some of these homes really get pretty close and again, that view is everything, right? When you step inside and you just see this panoramic view of these red rocks, it's just, it's, it's something to behold. Yeah, and just look at how brightly colored the, um, the soil is. This, these red, the red soil is just, it's, it's an interesting natural phenomenon that you don't really see in many places in the world. And it's just so strikingly beautiful. Yeah, it's amazing because, like, let's say, you know, Arizona, Nevada is not too far away. <laughs> it's right. Well, we're no, pretty Ar close. Arizona has yeah, they do have the Red Rocks. Actually, that's true. Um, but Nevada definitely does not. Well, they have, like, the Red Rock National Conservation Area, but it's not. That's like a little like, pocket, though. Yeah, that's it's, not It's really... nothing like here. I mean, here is just, like, all over the place, all over the entire, all of southern Utah. It's just so spectacularly beautiful. Yeah, so as you can see, they're still constructing to this day. And some of these homes, again, right up against it with nothing. 
And actually, you don't have to be right up against it. I mean, so because these are all single story homes, like the views, like even if you're going a little bit farther, you know, like a few streets back, are still incredibly good. So you don't have to be right on the front line to appreciate the views. But of course, if you want, if you're just going for it, you know, then yeah, then you, then you do want to get right up against it. But it's going to cost you. So again, as you would see, like it doesn't look like there's as many homes as there are, but there's actually a good amount of homes here. It's just that they, again, they all blend in. Yeah, if you got a drone and then you went, you know, up high to see how many homes are, you would be shocked by how many. But because of all of how we've been talking about the rules and regulations about how you can build, you would just not know it. Yeah, because I mean, again, the, even the coloring blends in. Oh yeah, and you can see the mountain ahead of us. I mean, there's actually snow on it. That is very unusual. That usually does not get snow. So if for whatever reason the 15 freeway is Horrific. impassable for what reason, for yeah. one reason or another, actually another way to get around it is taking Highway 91. That's what people did before the 15 freeway was built. Surprisingly, it's actually not a bad drive. It's just annoying when you're not expecting it. It's about a 20 minute difference. I would say getting through, like getting going around the, the Virgin River Gorge as opposed to going through it. Yeah, so Sean's talking about like if you're coming from Las Vegas, uh, instead of going through the Virgin River Gorge, you can take the highway, the old Highway 91, and it adds probably like 20 minutes. And the, the old highway basically comes through Ivan's, so. Okay, so we're really getting close to the Arts Village and super cute. Now they have this cafe. You want to tell them about the cafe, Courtney? Oh yeah, so they have the Zeteva Cafe. It's actually got really good food. Great little brunch. Um, it looks like there must be something happening today because it's pretty crowded here right now, just like on a random Friday afternoon. Um, but yeah, there's a decent amount of people here. I bet you there's a lot of people in the restaurant right now. But you can see um, that there's a lot of art galleries here. It's just uh, a super fun place to go not only just for you, but if you ever have somebody come in town and you want something to do, uh, I love the, just take them to the art galleries and get something to eat at the cafe. It's fun. Now, what does it have to offer? I would say it's like American contemporary cuisine, I would call it. And I would say they're particularly known for their brunches, right? Yeah, like, yeah, So that's sure. where they, they have good waffles. Like, again, the, 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 the quality of food, the source of food is really good, actually. And... Again, eggs, burgers, that kind of thing. Even their tacos are pretty good, too. Yeah, actually. they have a really good fish taco. I actually like that the best, probably, out of everything. Yeah, and so what you'll see as far as, like, art stuff, so you have, like, you know, beautiful photographs. Courtney's, like, wanting me to, you know, to get this one photograph of Zion that she just loves. So here's, here's Cayenta <laughs> Village. Like, they actually have people, work, like, metal work, which is actually really pretty, how they make some of these uh, mm -hmm. sculptures with metal. Mm -hmm. They have pottery, which is really mm -hmm. beautiful. They just have a lot of, again, it's a lot of variety, like Southwestern type stuff. Yeah, like, actually, so my sister, she actually is a buyer, so she knows a lot about, um, you know, just home decor and stuff. She's been do in that industry for almost 20 years now, and she, I took her out here to Cayenta, and she was very impressed by a lot of the pottery that's here. She actually bought some stuff because so she, that's what she does. She goes around the world looking for items to buy to put in her store and she was very impressed with Cayenta. Yeah, and actually they have like an outdoor theater so they do have some performances as well. You know, so you have arts in, in very, like in all its different forms, right? So you have the theater and then you also have, again, like paintings, photographs, sculptures, pottery, that kind of stuff. Yeah, so here we are. We're just entering, a, like we said we were going to show you, we're going to enter a random community in Ivan's. This one, obviously, uh, newer. Uh, like Sean was saying, depending on where you are in Ivan's, the homes could be um, on the older side or they could be on the newer side. Um, here's just a random community looking to be on the newer side. Um, again, if Ivan's, it looks like something that is interesting to you, reach out to us, reach out to that number below, and we can set you up with a member of our team who will help you find that perfect property for you. Okay, so yeah, so this is the Lone Strip Mall that I've seen basically in Ivan's itself for the most part. You have a dentist, which is awesome. You have e-bikes. No. You have a coffee shop. You have a coffee shop. I, if you're looking for groceries, again, right on the edge, like really close to, like it's right in Santa Clara technically, but Harmon's is probably your best bet. Okay, so now we're passing by Entrada, not only Entrada, the part of Entrada, which is a big master planned gated community, 
we're passing by the part that's in Ivan's, and then on the other side of us is the actual golf course um, for Entrada. So, yes, if you are looking for golf course living, Entrada is just one of the many options that you have. Um, I know, obviously, Entrada is famous within the golfing community, I guess, for how great the golf course is. I'm not a golfer, so I don't know, but everything that I've read about it is that it's just a spectacular golf course. And remember, if you are looking to buy a home here in the state of Utah, reach out to that number below, call that number below, we'll set you up with a member of our team and they'll get you started on finding that perfect property for you, whether you're three months out or a year out. It's never too early to get started on finding that perfect property for you.